What if I told you that one of the greatest natural threats to humanity, the Yellowstone supervolcano, might have a solution? Underneath the stunning geysers and vibrant hot springs of Yellowstone National Park lies a ticking time bomb. A super eruption could plunge the world into a volcanic winter, causing global famine and collapsing civilization as we know it. For decades, the question hasn't been asterisk, if asterisk it will erupt, but asterisk, when asterisk, but now. Some of the brightest minds at NASA are proposing an audacious plan that sounds like it s straight out of a sci-fi movie. The idea isn't to stop the eruption with force, but to cool it down from the inside out. The supervolcano is basically a giant heat engine, with a massive magma chamber slowly building pressure. The proposed solution, drill a hole about 10 kilometers deep into the side of the volcano and pump high-pressure water down. This water would circulate, absorbing a tremendous amount of heat from the magma chamber. The superheated water would then return to the surface at around 350 degrees Celsius. This process would gradually cool the magma, releasing the pressure and reducing the risk of an eruption. And here, S, the genius part, that incredibly hot water could be used to power a geothermal plant. This plant could generate massive amounts of clean electricity, potentially powering the entire surrounding area for thousands of years at an incredibly competitive price. It has a plan that not only aims to save the world, but could also provide a sustainable energy source in the process. Of course, the project is still in the theoretical stage. The risks are enormous drilling into an active magma chamber is no small feat. It could even trigger the very eruption we're trying to prevent if not done perfectly. The estimated cost is around $3.5 billion, a huge sum, but a fraction of the cost of rebuilding after a This ambitious project forces us to ask a critical question. Should we take a calculated risk to prevent a global catastrophe? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing science.